am here in Louisiana for the first time. I'm going to take you on a vlog as we explore New Orleans. We have a couple days and we have perfect weather, perfect timing. We're going to have a great time. So I'm going to show you how we prepared for this trip because we did so much research from watching other videos, TripAdvisor reviews, calling people, talking to people. But the only issue was we couldn't get specifics like what spot should we go to to eat. Oh, just walk around the French Quarter. Okay. Where should we stay? Just walk around the, what is it, Garden District. Okay. But what place in particular? So my purpose in this video is to show you exactly, give you names, places, accurate reviews on what to do, where to stay, what to eat, all that good stuff. Okay. So let's go. Our hotel and it's absolutely lovely and I'll give you a review of this place called the International House Hotel and it's not a bed bug breakfast in there's no bed bugs and they don't serve breakfast so I'll give you a quick room tour here is the bathroom updated pretty cool then here is the rest of the room they're definitely going with a minimalist vibe not a lot of furniture in here but it's enough. And then here is the view. Right in the heart of downtown. I think this is called the downtown. Let's see. And over here we have this. We have about an hour or so until nighttime. So we're going to go out and explore this city or this next few blocks and then that's it that'll be the end of our day one so i'm going to make a couple phone calls let some people know that we're here and we're going to do some fun stuff tomorrow so i won't take my camera with me but i'll try to vlog a little bit on my cell phone but i really 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 love this headboard i'm gonna have to diy this when i get back like that so see you in a little bit <laughs> Hurricane from the Chris is the only time you 
Thank you so much. Thank you, babe. Cheers, honey. Thank you. Tastes like medicine. <laughs> had a great evening went down to the river walk we walked back up to bourbon street had dinner really 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 good my first food in new orleans new orleans and uh, then we walked down bourbon street it's so crazy because the only like exposure i had to bourbon street was watching cops when they were in new orleans and they're arresting people you know showing boobs <laughs> falling out drunk starting fights and uh, it was absolutely really, really good because the last time I saw something with Bourbon Street was the movie Girl Strip, and I absolutely hate that movie. So it was good to see that it wasn't as chaotic like it is right now. I've heard different things about Mardi Gras, so I'm glad I'm not there for that. But had plenty of space, somebody bumping into us. You do have the occasional panhandler. The one thing that was really crazy is the little kids, they had to have them out there uh, drumming on buckets. That was just inappropriate. But um, other than that, we came back here to the hotel and our clerk, I think his name was Alan, and Alan gave us, is giving us great, great, great customer service. So we're, we're gonna, gonna see him the next couple of days. And he really helped us put together an itinerary for the next couple of days. So this vlog is made possible by my sweetheart and then the assistance of Alan to help us out. and tell us some really good places to go black owned restaurants to check out and yeah it's going to be a great trip so this is the end of day one we're going to finish our drinks go to sleep and it's really early it's only 7 30 and we feel like it's what it feels like midnight right <laughs> but uh yeah that's what happens so see you tomorrow day two <laughs> Drop my water, grab a Oh my goodness. Huh? You gonna do that? You gonna get out of here? Oh my goodness. Oh, no. I'm supposed to get you Mr. Austin right over there. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Austin. That's it. I'm the second big one when I had coffee. My coke got oh, to go. Oh wow. That's a big one. Yeah. Get my kitchen. I don't want to touch you. Hey, yo, you gotta touch okay. me. I gotta put it close to you. Okay. I'll stay right here. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is crazy. Girl. Oh, okay. I caught this out of the river. I just check one. That is a good thing. You know, I catch. do a fish every day. Wow. Well, on the back on the moonwalk. Yeah. When I see the teeth, oh, oh my yeah. god. Oh, yeah. Yes. They're real oh, sharp, too. Hey, what do you say? Oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The things you see, what, Jackson Square. <laughs> that is worth showing off.
going to Shake Shack, her great face by Shake Shack. So it's right here on Canal Street and St. Peter's. So, um, so far what we did was we went to Cafe Du Monde, pronounced that right? And we had beignets. Then we went to, we walked through Jackson Square. Then we went to walk through the French Market and went to the Jazz Museum, which is also the old U.S. Met. So that was pretty cool. We walked along the river up here to Shake Shack. So it's really warm out. So we kind of dressed according to the weather in Georgia. But it does get pretty chilly at night. So we're perfect. step into the room this is why you do not wear your shoes in the house because I believe that Bourbon Street translates to bile bums sewage garbage vomit yeah smells horrible and each step you're stepping over cigarette butts spit loogies old vomit and shit dried piss yeah <laughs> You just feel disgusting. So we're gonna go check it out during daylight hours and see how different it is. The architecture, the garbage, it's out here. When we were looking for lodging, you'll see different, the inn on St. Anne's, like right here. And you'll wonder, like, what happens there? Is it really cool to, to stay there? So I'm gonna let you know so look, looks a little sketchy. Might, might be good, you know, if you're looking for the cultural vibe. But um, yeah, if you're looking for more of a commercial place, like, what is it, the Hyatt, the West End, the Sheridan, those are all like on Canal Street. But this is what it looks like. If you pick like the other spots that's in the French Quarter. So that's it. Hope this video helps you out with questions on lodging. So that's about it. Gosh, they moving still. <laughs> so we walk it down this back street, and then these rats just come out. <laughs> so the rats come out at night, baby. Scared shit out of us, but it was kind of cool. Then the guys back there was laughing at us. But here we go. We're at the casino. This is day three. We walked up here to Lee Circle because the streetcar is shut down. So we had to walk up here to catch it. Hopefully we can finally get on the streetcar. Is that one right there? No. But one thing you might want to know about Lee Circle is that it is a public outhouse. You got mugs taking actual dumps. You got mugs brushing teeth. So yeah, this is not a point of interest. Do not come here. But speaking of something that is kind of delicious, we had a great brunch at Willa Jean's. That was really, really fun. It was my birthday brunch. Super, super good. We had the I don't remember, but a little bit of I don't remember. The World War II Museum is right behind me. You can go check that out if you want to. We're headed to Magazine Street for some photo ops down there and the cemetery. So we're gonna get a move on and check that out.
quick update. So we came back here to the hotel after riding the bus. We went to the mall, ate at Raisin Cane's. It was pretty good. Now we're off to the Comedy House in New Orleans to see fellow YouTuber, Gavin Richard, which when you read it, it looks like Gavin Richard. We're going to see him do some comedy. And yeah, then we might go out to dinner if the comedy club serves bar food. But there were some great restaurants around it, like the Grand Isle, but they're not open today, which sucks. So we may know the casino didn't have anything. Then my sister said another highly suggested restaurant is called Neo's. So we don't check that out, try to go check that out. But we're gonna go and chill at the comedy club. It's my birthday, and it's been the best birthday of my entire life. So I'll give y'all an update. I'm pretty sure you can't record or anything like that in the comedy club. But we'll try to get some pictures and meet another fellow YouTuber. So I can get some footage and pictures for my upcoming YouTube video on my favorite YouTubers. So just stay tuned for that video. And I'll see y'all maybe tomorrow. It's my birthday, so I'm cutting the camera off. Love y'all, bye.
an update. It is our last day on the road. We're headed back to Georgia and we're checking out uh, Biloxi, Mississippi now. Great time. Although this is a casino area, we did not go gamble because we are not gambles. gamblers. We're not gamblers, okay? The hotel had some construction going on, which was good because um, if I was like staying here for a couple days and want to get some rest, this was not the place to be. Now we are headed over to Mobile, Alabama to see one of my good friends. Met her. Uh, I met her through our sister, Art Kathy, and I gotta change this angle because the Spanish moss is above me, so yeah. I met her uh, through our sister, Art Kathy, which is her birthday today! And the weather right now is absolutely beautiful. For it to be December 3rd, it has to be about 70 degrees right now at nine o'clock in the morning in Mississippi. Heavy fog out here, but it's super duper love. Hope you enjoy this little bit of footage uh, until we get back home to Georgia, and then I'm gonna edit everything up. This has been a great, probably the best birthday of my life it probably it is the best birthday of my life i'm so grateful so let me go ahead and move the car so you can go load up and hit the road mm -hmm. 